We're now going to visualize the surface in 3D and this will involve using the model viewer. On the surfaces tab you can click on the model viewer icon. If you're using Civil 3D you can go to the roads tab and then again click on the model viewer icon. The first time that you open up model viewer for your project you'll be prompted for a surface. We have no primary design we do have a base surface however and this is NS so any surface that we create be it Civil 3D or Civil Site Design will be displayed in this list. Under style we have some predetermined render styles which we can use in this case we'll just leave this as grass and simply click OK. Model View will now display our surface. All you need to do is to make sure that the crosshair option is selected at the top of the form and you can use your left mouse button hold it down to pan in the drawing. To zoom, simply use your mouse wheel forward and back to zoom in and out. And then to orbit around in 3D, hold down your mouse wheel and you can orbit in and around your model. To improve the visualization further, we have some different options. Under visual styles, you can change the visual style to rendered with edges, shaded with edges, shaded, and finally wireframe. For the time being, let's just leave this as rendered. If you have a very flat site, you can change the vertical exaggeration to a number of your choosing. In this case, we'll just pick five, but as you can see on this particular site, there's no need for it to be uh, selected, so we'll leave this as one. To improve the visualization further and give us more context, we can do a couple of things. The first thing we're going to do is to add our aerial image that's in the drawing and drape it over our surface instead of using the grass. To do this, we go to Toggle Display. And where we have the style grass, we pull that down and click on Image from Drawing Aerial Photo. We are prompted to select the image from the drawing. We can use the Picker tool to pick the edge of the image. Now, this is important that you have the surface boundary layer um, that we turned off earlier turned off so that you can select the edge of the image. The drawing will provide you with the path to where the image is actually located. We can click OK and then click. OK. The software will now reload the surface with the image being displayed over the top of the surface. Final step we can take is to actually apply the contours. So we're going to go to toggle display again, go to the contours tab. You'll see that we've only got one surface available. This is the NS and we'll check that on and click OK you can see that the contours are now being added on. Just a small caveat with this, when you add the contours into the model viewer environment, you need to make sure that the contours are being displayed in the drawing. So in Surface Manager, you would need to make sure that they are checked on and displayed, and therefore they will now display in Model Viewer. Any changes we make to the interval or color, Model Viewer will be subject to those changes as well.